Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So I wanted to show you a success story on prepping on the cheap. I bought these boots about two and a half, three years ago at an auction for 25 cents. And I just found them in one of my totes that I was putting away in my trailer for storage. And the reason I just stumbled upon them is because I never really needed them because they were just, you know, boots that I got for 25 cents and they happened to fit me. But this is what you can do when you look for deals, right? 25 cents for this pair of boots. And I'm going to show you how you can take a 25 cent pair of boots. Now, these looked to me to be pretty fairly new. They look like maybe they got worn once or twice. You can see that the, uh, the soles on the bottom aren't really wore out. But I disinfected the inside and everything looks good on them as far as uh, any tears or anything like that. And I'm going to show you how with a 25 cent pair of boot and an old shoe shining kit that I have from when I was in the army, how you can take a 25 cent investment and use it to make something that you got on the cheap for prepping to last you a really long time and maintain it for a really long time. Now, I think that having boots in excess and working clothes, working pants and things like that is a great thing to have. All right. So all I'm going to do for you guys today is I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to just give these things a quick cleanup and make them serviceable. That way, even if I do put them away, the leather on them won't start to crack and, you know, and age, you know, and get dry rotted. All right. So I'm going to put a nice layer of wax on them and clean them up. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like after they're done being cleaned. And I'll also show you guys what I'm doing while I'm cleaning them. So thank you for joining in today. Well, let's get started. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while I'm taking the laces off these boots, there's someone who sent me an email and asked me a question on my last video that I did about silver. And this person asked me that if they were to start purchasing silver, how should they start? Now, I'm not a financial advisor, and all I'm going to tell you is I'm going to answer this question telling you what I did and or what I would do different than what I did in the past, okay? So let me get my brush out here real quick. So first thing I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to grab this, this little hard bristle brush here, and I'm just going to clean this thing off. I'm going to clean it off as good as I can. I'll probably have to go grab me a towel with some water. But these things are actually in pretty darn good shape. I'm really happy that I got these because these are work boots. But I think that they're in good enough shape where if we spiff them up really good, they could actually be used for casual wear. Because I've already got some other work boots that I carried over to civilian life from the military from after I retired because in the military or at least in the army I know of they let you keep your footwear all right so it looks like it's pretty clean all right so I'm going to go ahead and stop for a second ladies and gentlemen so I can answer this question about silver because I can't really do two things at once and it looks like this is already pretty much cleaned off as good as it's going to get Look at that, even. I don't, it doesn't have any wax on it, but just brushing it like this made it come out looking halfway decent. All right, so when I first started getting into purchasing precious metals, i.e. mainly silver, I have very little gold, uh, but precious metals, or i.e. silver, what I started doing was, is I started getting, oh, this is all dusty. Let me put this one down. I started getting constitutional silver. Mainly. I might have gotten a coin or two, you know, of regular rounds or maybe one or two coins of, uh, of you know, government minted coins. But mainly I got constitutional silver. And what I did was, and, you know, to tell you the truth, the reason I started getting constitutional silver is because pretty much of the same thing that a lot of people say. They're very recognizable, right? And, and I was very comfortable owning those. 
especially since when I bought a lot of my first PMs, I got them from like coin shops and I also got them from some internet sites that I really wasn't too much, uh, I didn't know too much about those sites that I got them from. So I was very careful. So I got stuff that I saw that looked very recognizable to me. So mainly that's what I got. So now if I had to do it over again, what I would mainly do is, is I would figure out, because let me tell you what, I get silver for two reasons. The first reason is for wealth preservation. For the second reason is as a savings account. So for example, let's say something happens and I lose my income and I need to pay some bills. I can always dip into my PMs that I put away for wealth preservation and use them as if they were a savings account. Okay, so what I would do is I would start out with constitutional silver or junk silver because it's easily recognizable and it's something that you can be comfortable with holding yourself, right? And once I had enough silver collected in that form to maybe cover a month's worth of my expenses should I lose my income, then I would go to a next level. Then I would probably start collecting generic rounds, generic bars. And then once I had enough generic bars or rounds that I could use for a loss of income for like six months, then I would start getting some government issued or government minted coins until I had at least one year's income saved up or enough coins to supply my needs, my family's needs, like to pay utilities, to pay your rent, mortgage, whatever it is that you need to pay on a monthly basis with fiat, I'd have enough coins to be able to convert into that fiat for one year or enough silver. So pretty much broken down into three things, into constitutional silver or junk silver, and then into generic rounds or bars. And then to that, you can add some government minted uh, rounds. So that's just how I do it, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can do it however you do it. I think I'm, a, I'm you know that I'm a big proponent of holding precious metals. So as long as you hold some, I think you're in the right. So, but that's just how I do it. That was just answering that question. And another question that was asked is, where do you get it? And this person pretty much said, I've seen that they sell some on Amazon and eBay. And to that, I would say, don't go on Amazon or eBay unless you know exactly what it is that you're doing as far as purchasing precious metals. I would never buy any precious metals off of Amazon or eBay. I never have, but I just wouldn't. This is what I would do. And this is what I do when I procure my precious metals. I go to a local coin shop and I'm very comfortable with going to a local coin shop because I've built a relationship with those guys and I'm comfortable buying from them and I'm comfortable selling to them. Now, if there's no local coin shop in your area and you still want to purchase precious metals, then what I would do is this, I would get online and find a reputable precious metals dealer. Now, Disclaimer, I have a link under my description to SD Bullion. They are a reputable precious metals dealer. And I do get a commission if you guys use my link, but that's not why I'm mentioning this. The reason that I like to promote SD Bullion is because they are the only company that I know of that is debt free. All right. There may be some other precious metals companies out there that are debt free. I don't know. SD Bullion is the only one that I know of that are debt free. And to me, that's a big deal because if something were to happen where the price of uh, precious metals were to skyrocket and you have companies that have a lot of leverage, meaning that they have a lot of debt out there, uh, you could lose whatever money you sent to that company if they go bankrupt or something like that happens. So I'd rather deal with a company that's debt free if I have to deal with a company I would rather deal with one that's debt-free. Now, I don't know if the local coin shop that I go to is debt-free or not, but that doesn't matter because it's instant gratification there. When I go there and I buy, I get my precious metals right away. I don't have to wait for them to come in the mail. All right. So I really hope that that answered your question. All right. You know who you are that asked that question, that emailed me. I truly hope that answered your question. 
And uh, I hope that, you know, I wish you the best of luck uh, as far as you getting what it is that you feel you need to get in the form of precious metals. All right. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, these look like they're pretty darn good to go right now. Not too bad for 25 cents, huh? All right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can put a little bit of wa uh, wax on this, uh, shoe wax, and see how nice we can get them to look. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm back. So pretty much what I'm using is just some cheap wax, okay, some cheap shoe polish. This is the Kiwi. I know there's more expensive stuff out there, but listen, this boot cost me 12 and a half cents. <laughs> okay, and I didn't even tell you guys what kind of boots they were. Let's see. Uh, I don't think it says. It was made in, they were made in Romania. And they say Thinsulate, so they're insulated. Yeah, it doesn't, have, it doesn't really have a brand, I don't think. It just says insulated, made in Romania. Let's see. I don't see anything in there. Let's see, made in Romania, balance. Nope. It doesn't have a brand that I can find. So that doesn't really matter. I put them on and they fit really well. And they're very nice. So like I said, I know that there's other shoe polish out there that's like really, really expensive stuff. But honestly, I think this will do the job for these. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of this. And I'm going to put it on pretty liberally. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, thinking also, there are things out there that you can use. So like if you have an old pair of boots that's like, you know, it looks like the polish came off and it looks like the leather's dry and stuff like that, you could probably get some kind of a leather conditioner for it because i think you know this is one of those things that if you become good at doing something like this and you ever have to fall back on one of your skills you know if something were to ever happen you know like catastrophic and pretty much you have to find a new career and a new type of a society you know this is probably something that would be you know I don't know, you know, it's something you could do. Everybody needs shoes, and if you can preserve shoes and make them last longer, that that I'm sure that's got some value, you know. Making sure that your shoes are pretty well preserved and that they can last longer, I'm sure has some value to it. So what I want to do now that I did that is I'm going to just go ahead and give it a little brush. And no, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put a glass finish on this. I've done it before when I was in the military, but I'm not putting a glass finish on this. Oh, well, that is coming out pretty nice. I wonder how much those shoe shine people, you know, that you see in New York. I wonder how much those guys make. They must make good money to make a living because if they didn't, I'm sure they wouldn't be doing it. This looks like it's coming out pretty good. So ladies and gentlemen, I have a question for you. Maybe I'll leave a, maybe I'll attach a poll to this video for you guys to take a look at. So I keep getting contacted by a whole bunch of companies wanting me to review things for them. And a lot of them I turn down because the things that they want me to review are not really in line with prepping, you know? So I wanted to ask you guys if I get an, you know... I'm not really into collecting a whole bunch of stuff that I really don't want to keep. And I wanted to ask you guys if I get contacted by a company and they want me to review something, if I talk them into 
providing me with an additional one for free that they will mail out to a community member and we do a giveaway that way would you guys mind if I did that and if you guys want me to do that like for example I had a company contact me about reviewing a an electric teapot or pretty much an electric pitcher that heats up water I mean, I don't think that really falls in line too much with prepping. But if you guys wanted me to review something like that, and I can talk the company into shipping one out to a community member that wins, you know, we'll do an entry like we always do, you know, for for any giveaways. If you guys want me to do that, I can. Just so that we can give away more stuff. Sure, it may not be prepping related, but you know what? It's... Something that somebody in the community can get for free. You know, ship to them for free. Because if I review it, I'll more than likely give it away locally. You know, give it to someone I know. But I'm not going to go ahead and, you know, review it and then pay for shipping. Ship it somewhere. But if you guys want me to do that, I can ask the companies to see if they would do what the air fry company did. And ship one out to a winner for free. So you guys let me know if you want, if you want to do that. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab just a little bit of water to make these look halfway decent. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not looking for a glass finish. What I'm looking for is to have them look pretty decent enough to use these as casual wear. And uh, to make sure that the leather... Is somewhat conditioned and won't, won't start getting dry rot. So I think that's going to be good enough right there. Look at that. Not bad for 25 cents. I'll tell you that right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> this is probably a terrible video. <laughs> I didn't plan for doing a video on this or anything. I just said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and turn on the camera and see what happens. But, yeah, I think this came out pretty nice, man. Look at that. That's a great deal. It's a little scratch on it right there, but... Did you see an expected video? Oh, my goodness. It scared me, oh, Victor. This reminds me of boot camp. It makes you spit on it first. Victor, what are you doing here? Why aren't you working? I have deal. Victor, do you know what trimmers are? No. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor. Or so are those the things that you get when you shake? <laughs> when you shave. Shake. You shave. You shave with trimmers, not tremors. Oh, trimmers. oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor looks like Fidel Castro <laughs> with the beard that he's got going on. <laughs> I thought it looked more like shave. Victor, did you come here to help me with my boots? Look at this, Victor. What do you think? What do you think about the difference? You see, this is the one that I just shined up, and this is the one that's not shined yet. Not bad, huh? That looks pretty nice. Look at that. Did you use spit? No, I just used a little bit of water. I'm not in the army anymore. That looks pretty good, do you think? How much do you think I pay for these boots, Victor? Look at that. That's the, that's the dirty one. They were free. No, they were not free. I paid for these. A dollar. What? A dollar. Nope. Two dollars. Nope. Twenty cents. Higher than that. 25 cents. 25 cents I pay for these boots at an auction. Really? Yep. That's, cool. That's a pretty good deal, huh? So, all right. Listen, Victor. I'm going to finish up here. So, you want to say hi to the people and then go away? No. Okay. So, you're going to go away now? No. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I sit and watch. And if I have comment, I see it. Well, no. I've already done. I'm going to... I'm, I'm not going... I already shined this one, Right. I'm going to do the same thing with that one, so there's no reason for me to show the community members me shining both of them, because all I'm going to do to that one right there is well, the no, same thing I did to this they're one. They're obviously bored already. They're watching your video. <laughs> you think that just because they're watching my videos, they're bored? Why else would they watch these things? Oh, my goodness. They have nothing better to do at home. They... Click on YouTube. They see this. They think, oh, this is the nice old fat man. He talks about... <laughs> Food and the the weather and how it gets distorted by the government and all these things. I don't talk about how the weather gets distorted by the government. What are you talking about? 
I'm not a conspiracy theorist. They use magic rituals and then they put it in <laughs> machines. It does crazy things. Got it from aliens, probably. Did you hear well, about all these Americans that are going to invade the Area 51? Well, ladies and gentlemen... Why not Area 50? I'll come back after I've shined the yeah, other one so I can show you what they both shot. look like. All right. Everyone have a so, good day. We'll be back. Victor said have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? I think that came out really nice. That's 25 cents worth of boots. And I would say that I probably used about 50 cents worth of my supplies. And ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Even if these boots didn't fit me, I would bet that they would probably sell on eBay or Craigslist for you know a good 20, 25, 30 dollars because of what good shape they're in. But I'm not gonna sell these because I really like these and I like the fact that I can wear them and say that I only pay 25 cents for them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This is probably the most boring video I've ever made, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of it, at least a little bit of entertainment. All right, so having said that, I hope you guys have a good day today. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.